Yes, yes, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the best 4K export settings in Premiere Pro. If you like what you see or hear in this video, please be sure to subscribe. Let's get straight into it. We've all been there where we've created an amazing looking video. We've gone to export it, uploaded it to YouTube, and it looks like this. This is because YouTube compresses the video so much that in turn it loses a massive amount of quality. We can fix that adjusting a few settings when we go to export so your video goes from looking like this to this. Once you're ready to export, go to File, Export, Media. When the Export Settings box pops up, we want to start from the top and work our way down. So starting from the first drop down box, format, we want to make sure that this is H.264. Underneath that, you've got preset. You want to change this to custom. This is because a lot of the settings we're going to be changing will be custom to us. Underneath that, you've got comments, leave that blank. Go down to the next output name, click on that. Choose the location you want the file to save to, change the name, then press save. Back to our settings screen. If we look at the two boxes underneath the output name, export video, export audio, make sure these are both checked. Underneath that, we've got a summary box. Leave that now, we'll come back to that later. Underneath the summary box, you've got six tabs, effects, video, audio, multiplexer, captions, and publish. The only two that we need to look at are video and audio, so make sure video is selected. Starting with the basic video settings, width and height, you want to make sure this is 3840 by 2160. If it's not, uncheck the box next to it. This will allow you to change it. Underneath that, frame rate, make sure this matches up with your sequence settings and of course what you shot in. If you need to change it, uncheck the box next to it. Field order, make sure it's progressive. Aspects, make sure square pixels 1.0. If you need to change any of these, again, uncheck the box next to it. It will allow you to change it. TV standard, based on where you are in the world. NTSC for the US, PAL for Europe, parts of Asia and Australia. Underneath that, we've got render at maximum depth. This is a key box to make sure it's checked in this process. So definitely, definitely make sure this is checked. This is basically going to overall make the quality of the video better, especially in high contrasted scenes like skies or bright lights. So we're done with the basic video settings, moving to encoding settings, performance, make sure software encoding is selected. Underneath that profile, make sure this is set to high and the level 5.2. If you need to change any of these, again, the box next to it, just uncheck that and it will allow you to change it. Scroll past all of this stuff. We're now gonna get to probably one of the most important settings in this process, especially uploading to video sites, the bitrate settings. So what is bitrate? Bitrate basically means the amount of data that's processed every second. So the higher the bitrate, the higher the image quality, the lower the bitrate, the lower the image quality. This helps when uploading to YouTube and it compresses your video so much. It's worth noting that there are different bitrate recommendations based on your frame rate and your resolution. So the higher your resolution or the higher your frame rate, the higher your bitrate should be as there's more data to process. So looking at our bitrate settings in Premiere Pro, make sure the bitrate encoding is on CBR. This stands for constant bitrate. This means whatever's happening on the screen, the bitrate will remain the same throughout the video. For the target bitrate, you want to set this to 100. You can go higher, you can go lower. 100 is what works for me. Remember the higher you go, the larger the file size will be. Next, you want to scroll down, ignore these last couple of options and you want to get down to the bottom box where it says use maximum render quality. Make sure this is checked. This basically means any footage that you've upscaled from 1080p to 4K or vice versa, it will improve the overall image quality. So it's worth having this checked. That's it for the main video settings. You now want to go back up to those six tabs and you want to click on audio. This is pretty straightforward as most of the settings are already set. First of all, audio format, make sure that's on AAC. 
then the basic audio settings you want to make sure the Kodak is AAC sample rate is 48,000 Hertz and it's on stereo as the channels audio quality obviously that's going to be high don't know why you would want anything lower than that and then the bitrate settings just go to the drop down menu and make sure whatever the highest option is in this case it's 320 make sure that that is selected then you want to make sure bitrate is selected here not sample rate this just basically means it's going to render the audio at a higher quality and that's it for the 4k export settings if you go back up to the summary box you can see output and source output is basically everything we've just changed and source is everything from the sequence settings just make sure things like the resolution and frame rate match up if they don't when you export it and watch it back things will look choppy if we go back up to the top next to preset first box save preset this will basically save all the settings we've just made so when you go to export your next video you won't have to go through this process again click on that name it press save then next time you go to export if you go to the drop down menu next to preset the preset you've just saved will appear click on that and you're ready to export straight away once you're happy with all the settings press export and then you're done Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, check out my other videos, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.